Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the today's GFG Beauty this week. Today's question is very easy and a very standard one I would say. We need to check whether the kth bit is set or not, right? The question says that n equals to 4 you have been given and you need to check if the kth bit, that is the 0th bit, is set or not, right? And it is 0 base indexing, the leftmost, that is the least significant bit is starting from 0th index and then going 1, 2 towards right hand side, right? So for 4 and 0 it is no and then 4 and 2 it is yes, right? Let us understand the input and output first of all, right? So let me just give you a quick uh, understanding of input and output. So for 4, how we can write 4? It can be written in binary as 100, 0, 0, right? Now you need to write the index. Index. Index starts from 0. It starts from here. It is 0, then this is 1 and this is 2, right? So for k equals to 0 and for k equals to 2, what you can see? It is unset, right? So for k equals to 0, you can see answer is no k equals to 2 it is set right so the answer is yes right now doing this question involves two techniques the method 1 would take log n method 2 would take o of 1 the method 2 is a bit observational i will show you but again if you if you are able to do method 1 you will be able to observe right method 1 depends on it's a variation of count set bits right so, or or you can say the prerequisite here is count set bits so you must go and visit my this lecture and um, if you have not visited it we have covered this particular question as a sub part of the question in our previous in the last purity streak as well right so you can see that as well but let me give you a very quick overview on count set bit kaise karte the right count set bit ka matlab hai ki ek binary presentation mein kitne set bit hum kaise karte the ki 100 zero, zero, let's say then we we end it with 1 right so that means this bit would be 1 and everything remains 0 and because this is 0 then it sums up or it gives 0 for rest of the bits except the last bit right because you are doing and operation if one part is already zero, then doesn't matter what itself in the above part. It is one or one. If you're doing with zero, you'll get zero, right? But here I'm replacing one. This is my, I'm replacing it as one. So definitely this bit will be reframed. So it is zero, so it would be zero again, correct? Now, what I did, n equals to n by two, or you can even do right shift operator. So both are same, right shift operator. So n equals to n by two will give you one bit, one, the last bit would be gone and you will be left with one and zero, right? So this is your now current binary representation. You again do it with and, and here it would be zero. And due to this zero, your all bit in the right hand side except the last one would be zero, and this would be refrained because you are doing with and. Again, you will do till you have numbers left. You will do again n equals to n by two. And now earlier it was one zero, now it will be just one. You will again do with and, and you can clearly see it would be one, right? So what was the code for this? That what are we doing? We are doing some particular steps that n equals to n by 2 right and we are checking count plus equals to n and 1 whenever you get a 1 you you sum it right in a count variable till when we are doing this task while n greater than 0 right so, th so this was the count set bit problem how we can um, do this question for this thing so we can do the like this so you have give we have been given n equals to 100 0, 0, and you need to find the kth bit is set or not so what i will do I will repeat this step n equals to n by 2 k times. If I do that step, k here is 2, right? Okay, k here is 2. Yep, uh, let me see the charging is on or not. Hmm. The k here is 2, right? If I keep on decreasing, if I keep on doing n equals to n by 2 k times, then what will happen? This will convert to 10. This is the one time. It will convert to 1, right? And can you see now that this bit was the kth bit I need to check. I can just do and here and I will say yes it is. What would be the pseudocode that I'll be running a while loop, while loop so it's first k times. I'll be doing n equals to n by 2. I'll be de uh, decreasing my k, k minus minus, right? So we, when we are done this step, you will be already on the kth bit, correct? You will just check if the remaining number that is n and 1, if it is equal equal to 1. Then you will say return yes or return true. That's it. But this will take you log n uppers. Let us see this thing. Let us see this thing. And before coding it, so n here is 10 power 9. And you are doing, you are taking log n. If you put 10 power 9 here, then this would be definitely less than 10 power 8. That is log of log of 10 power 9 base 2. It would be definitely less than 10 power 8. So even this is our brute force technique, this code will get submitted. Let us see the code now. The same thing we have done here as we have done in the pseudo code and the dry run. Let's just hit the compile and run and then we can see the submit button. Okay, let's just hit the, now let's just submit the code. 
So I hope you are on the same page with me now. Great. So streak is done, but I have not scored any marks. Definitely I would have solved it earlier in 2021. Oh, great. My placement season. Okay. Definitely has some flash flashback. Okay. मेथड टू देखते हैं मेथड टू ओ वन ओ वन कैसे यार देखो हम क्या कर रहे हैं हम थोड़ा सा ऑब्जर्व करते हैं हम कौन सी स्टेप्स को रिडेंडेंटली कर रहे हैं जिसकी जरूरत नहीं है हम क्या कर रहे थे हम क्या कर रहे थे हम इस बिट पे आने के लिए सबसे पहले तो एन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू करते जा रहे थे बट क्या मैं ऐसा कह सकता हूँ अच्छा इसकी एक्सप्रेशन मैंने ऊपर लिख रखी है यहाँ से शो करते हैं आपको ये वन जीरो जीरो है मेरे को मतलब है सिर्फ इस वन के नीचे वन लाने से बाकी सब जगह में जीरो बैठा दो तो अपना काम हो जाएगा क्योंकि हम एंड ऑपरेटर कर रहे हैं अगर बाकी सब जगह जीरो है तो डेफिनेटली रिजल्टेंट भी जीरो हो जाएगा जहां पे हमें सिर्फ वन की रिक्वायरमेंट है वेर द केथ बिट इज सेट और अनसेट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो इफ इट इज सेट ऑन सेट ऑन नॉट एट द केथ पोजिशन इफ आई प्लेस वन एंड इन रेस्ट ऑफ द पोजिशन आई प्लेस इट जीरो डो नॉट थिंक हाउ इफ आई डू दैट राइट नाउ राइट दैन डेफिनेटली विल बी गेटिंग द आंसर राइट बिकॉज एवरी थिंग वुड बी जीरो जीरो एंड देन दिस बिट द केथ बिट बिल डिफरेंट सिमिलरली फॉर लेट्स दिस टेस्ट केस आई थिंक यू वुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इवन मोर नाउ सो लेट्स ए दिस इज द केथ सेट बिट राइट इन दिस बाइन रिप्रेजेंटेशन If I if I am able to set one here, and in rest all the places zeros, and I do AND operator, so due to this zero, I'll get zero in all the places, and since I placed one here, so I will getting the same bit as the kth bit in the given number, one, correct? So my whole question or my whole solution boils down to how can I make this number? If I am able to make this number, I will just return AND AND this particular number. If it is, if it is. Uh, Greater than zero, then definitely return true, else false, right? If you see now, now we have left shift and right shift operators in bitwise, right? So if you see this, this, this number is nothing but it is getting left shifted three times, right? And three, where we can get three from? We have a k, so that means we need to just shift one k times. ठीक है? हो सकता है आपको left shift operator नहीं समझ में आए तो मैं बताता हूँ. अगर हम लिखते हैं one left shift one, इसका क्या मतलब होता है? It means we are saying that we are multiplying one with two power one. Now, uh, let me just uh, highlight it. So this one is coming from here, right? And this one, this one is coming from here. Correct? Now I hope you know what is left shift operator. If you see, it becomes one zero. Again, if you do one left shift two, it would be one into two power two, right? It would be one zero zero, right? Here k k was equals to two, right? So that means we are sh left shifting two times. One zero zero, and then we'll just do the number and this particular number. If it's greater than zero, then definitely we have the answer. If if not, then it's return no. Similarly for this case, you can see it is one is left left shifted three times. Is it? So I'm doing one left shift three to be one into two power three. That is one triple zero. That in the decimal number it is eight. If I do it do and with it, then definitely this bit is different and everything remains zero. What would be the pseudo code? The pseudo code would be if n and One left shift k times is not equals to zero, right? Then you need to say return true. Else you need to say return false. And that is that is it. The bitwise AND operator it takes over one time, right? And one left shift k is nothing but we are doing a multiplication, so it would be also over one, right? So overall time comes t would be o of one now. Great, great if you were able to observe this thing and able to solve it by yourself. Okay, so I've commented down this approach so that you can get access of it in the DSA repository as well. Let's just hit the submit button. Okay, great. All the test cases have been passed. Let us switch back to the C++ code now. So the same code is here again. Let me just hit the submit button so that so that you can get access of this code as well in my DSA repository. Great, yeah, okay. So few last thing. So I'll be traveling today uh, to my hometown, that is Bihar, for the Aliyan Chhat Puja. So maybe for tomorrow I'll be uh, uploading my video a bit late. And yes, if you guys are at home, enjoy it. And until then, we'll meet again tomorrow for the Purit Week. So until then, take care. Bye bye. And study, man. And subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye.